Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about supporting your local store. And I have two local stores. Uh, one of them I haven't been to in a while, but a lot of my friends, um, and probably one of my closest magic friends, goes to the store every Friday Night Magic. I haven't been to that store in a while because there's a little, I don't know, something happened with the Modern Masters where I expected to be able to buy some Modern Masters and it just fell apart and I kind of got cornered into doing a, I made a 12 and a half minute video about exactly my feelings about the case of Modern Masters and I did want to explain that I, first of all, it's not, I don't blame anyone but myself for like doing it that way. Um, I had to put up all the money and I don't absolutely do not blame anyone um, other than myself for doing, I mean, I should have purchased one case, not that many. Um, I wasn't making any money from those cases. Uh, I actually had to do a lot of work. I had to pick them up and deliver them and stuff like that. But I felt like it was worth it for the subscribers. But uh, that didn't actually happen. So my local stores, uh, one of them could have helped me um, and they didn't. They chose literally not to. I don't think it would have hurt them but they chose not to. And I have recommended this store in the past. Uh, I just cannot, uh, I cannot like not recommend it, but also I'm not, I'm going to stay away from it for a little bit of time so I can get a better understanding of what the relationship actually is. I used to buy a lot from this store. When I mean a lot, I used to buy uh, from the previous magic people and this is all like, they, the store owner knows this, everyone in the store knows this. I used to buy 1K in cards all the time, uh, 1K a month. And, and uh, to be kind of forced into that corner, I mean like they didn't owe me anything. Don't get me wrong, they don't owe me anything. I don't view it that way. But if you have a customer and they are, I mean for that white box, like over just promos, I purchased probably close to 2k of uh, Vanguard and Weiss promos from that place. I have a massive collection from that place. I purchased who knows how much magic cards from that place, how many magic singles as well as other merchandise. Uh, and uh, when they didn't have that many people at it, I was the one to support it and I was the one to bring people to the store. And now, you know, I feel a little bad about the situation I've been put into. And um, the other store, by the way, is great. Um, I don't mind giving more business to the other store because it is a tinier store and the revenue is not as large and the customer base is really not that big. Like it's been in business for like, I want to say like four years, but the customer base is still like just so small. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's because they're not good at promoting. They don't even have a Facebook page. I mean, they might have a Twitter that like no one uses, at least someone has their Twitter handle and they don't have like any form of advertisement and the store is like in the middle of like, it's on the top, like it's like a second level store, like where like they don't have any signage and yeah, it says like video game and hobby store, but like in a really tiny sign that like the store is so tiny to begin with. And they've always been very good to me and I will continue to support them. And this video is really to tell you guys to support your local game store, to support the people who make it possible for you to play the game and to support the, I mean, to be quite honest with you, all the business I do is with store owners nowadays because um, I don't like to deal with uh, people who either overvalue their own cards or devalue your cards. Store owners, I know what to expect. They know what to expect from me. They'll always looking. They will always just give me a straight up price, the lowest price. This one store gives me the lowest price they can give me. I don't tinker over the price. I just say okay, yes or no, and they send me a picture. I say yes or no, and then that's it. And I pick it up and I have fun at the store. And that's the a really good relationship I have. And that was the relationship I had with Groovy Geckos. So I recommend you guys supporting your local stores. And it comes down to the fact that they support you. They keep lights on for you. They hold packages for you sometimes. Um, if you are a loyal customer, they will go out of their way. At least this one store still will go out of its way to make sure I'm happy. 
Uh, I don't worry about, you know, the figure. I buy a lot of anime figures. I don't worry about the figure missing something or being damaged. Because even if it is damaged, I just take it back and they just order a new one. Even if it costs them money. And that's, um, that's loyalty, right? Like, I spend X amount and I've gone over that in a pre previous video. And I'm not going to spend X amount in multiple stores if I can spend it in one store. That I like, and I think it's gonna come down to uh, there's two, there used to be two stores. I might just buy all my product from one store now and maybe go hang out at the other store because you, as a customer, so from a store perspective, yes, they need to keep the lights on, but you, as a customer, you need to pick and you need to say, This store did X for me, this store is where my friends are, this store produces maybe like Darium CCGs, produces video games. <laughs> video games, videos, content for me to watch. Like, what value does the store create for the customer? And then you have to go ahead and you have to, uh, in my opinion, if you do have X amount of money, you have to spend it where it's most appreciated. And that's, you know, that's, uh, that's what I call a game. That's why I call my locals. Um, I used to have two locals. I might have one right now. I'll see where... I want to stay away from that other locals for a while and see how, you know, how it is. Because I can tell you, back in the day when they didn't have any customers there, they didn't have anyone at Friday Night Magic, I purchased a lot. I purchased a lot. And I helped the store. In my opinion, I helped the store get past that time. And now that there's a lot of people in the store or more people in the store, they kind of... I was not expecting to see a text message with that answer back to me. Um, and again, they don't owe me anything. That's fine. But again, at the same point, the same idea is I don't owe them very much either, right? I mean, I'm a customer. I've spent X amount with you. What else? What more can you ask from me? So support these stores, but support these stores that support you. That either create content for you, maybe it's Dariums, uh, maybe they uh, give you a place, a roof to play over. Uh, that's not Walmart. It's not going to do that for you. Maybe they give you uh, customer attention. Maybe they find out, you know, somebody brings in a card. They keep the card for you because they know you like it. They offer that card to you first. And you say no, and then they resell. Like, there's so many different reasons why, like a local store to me is a very personal business. And when it's a personal local business, and it definitely is a local business, then customer service and how you treat your customers, that will determine how much money your customers should spend at that store. Bye, guys.